Brent and I are preparing to install the uh, bottom panels to the frame of our zip kit. We're following the Glen L instructions for the bottom planking except for we're installing the bottom first instead of the sides. This is a modification that is noted in your uh, zip kit guide. But we're following the screw pattern on page four, bottom planking. We have our chines fared, our battens fared, our transom fared, our stem and our shear clamp all ready for the bottom first. The reason we did the bottom first is we can line the bottom up to the center line. We can index off the center line. So what we have Brent is we're gonna have these two panels butt together and up in the bow Essentially, we're going to have a miter joint. We're going to have to bevel these so they'll come together on an angle as we get towards the stern here. It just becomes a butt joint, but we're going to undercut it slightly all the way down to the transom because there is a slight angle. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, put an angle on our starboard bottom at the keel where they come together. They come together at the bow at a pretty steep angle. So we're gonna to try to split that angle here at the front and in the back it's just a slight angle, maybe two degrees, just undercutting it so the two pieces will come together. Being the starboard side, this is a little difficult because we have our overlap. This portion overlaps the port bottom. So we're gonna to have to start on an angle, I'm going about 22 and a half, say. Cutting it, turning it, holding that angle, rolling it, and we go down the boat. So almost straight up and down here. You want to be careful not to cut into too far, of course. You want to retain this bottom edge. Establishing your angle. Down here is when you're going to start cutting into it. So yeah, I'm pretty close here. I'm going to leave this section alone. Okay. Cutting our angle with the chisel, finishing it out where we can't get our plane in. Okay, that's good. We're preparing the uh, lap joint in the bow on the port side. Um, I've made a little chisel notch here. I squared it out first. And then I'm following this the angle of the stem with my chisel and cutting it to the notch. And then, while I'm doing that, I'm going to use my block plane to follow the angle of the stem, remove this material as far as I can. I think I need another screw just to hold it in position here. Put it to my finger. Yeah? Tap to it. Good. Those screws are temporary. So we're uh, following the angle of the stem. Trimming off the port side bottom to our notch. 
dry fitting this bottom. We're gonna go ahead and make some match marks. I think what we did before is we put a block on the keel with match marks so we could line it up perfect when we glued it. Using the uh, block plane chisel and file, I've made this bevel on the transition joint where the side meets the bottom. This is the port bottom. I've beveled it with a pretty steep angle. Looks to be about 30 degrees. Is probably way more than I need. And then just undercut it towards the bow all the way to the tip. So we fit the this panel, dry fit it before we glued it. We prepared our lap joint, um, planing this off flush with the stem, chiseled our knot so it was nice and square. We place these stop blocks onto the keelson, put some match marks before we removed it after we dry fitted it so we knew it would go right back in the same position and um, basically where we started was right here in the transom pretty much flush with the transom we're just a little bit shy here just a very thin red one So from we lined this up and when you go down the center don't let it blow your mind because it's only straight for the first six feet and then it it starts curving like crazy and you want to force it to the center but don't go to the bow And wrap this around push this down what we did is we pulled this around we put in our two pan head screws here just to hold it in position and lined it up with the uh, stem even when you're dry fitting it line it up with the stem this this should stick over approximately an eighth of an inch maybe not quite We've installed the bottom panels using the um, Glenel epoxy grip and the three quarter number eight and the one inch number eight screws. According to the Glenel screwing pattern, you want uh, your three quarter number eights along the keel, three inches apart. Along the transom, you want to use your one inch number eights, three inches apart. And the chine, the three quarter. And in the bow, on the bow stem, according to the fastening schedule, use the one inch number eight. Notice how the starboard side overlays the port side. We have this junction right at frame five and a half, just behind it where they um, make the transition from the butt joint to the lap joint. This is really similar to what we're going to do here, right here. It's similar to what we're going to do here. We have a transition. This side will be the lap joint. This side will be a butt joint. Actually, if you can look under here, this is actually cut back on a on an angle and we'll and we'll angle the other panel to uh, intersect 
properly. Make a nice miter joint. What we have is uh, we have this block that we used to define the edge of our chine and hold our screws back. See, here is the port bottom transition joint from the overlapping joint to the butt joint. Getting ready to install the sides on our Glenel zip kit. We have the uh, two bottom panels installed. We have the uh, material fared off. Our joints prepared. We have our transition here on the uh, starboard side. And we have our lap joint in the bow. And the transition, this is the same as on the chine where it goes from a lap joint to a miter joint as it goes to the rear to just a, a slight, slight miter joint to the transom.